Yo, yo, what up guys? I can't be too loud, baby sleeping, but I am overly excited. The diffuser got here, and this thing, this bitch is almost as tall as I am. Look at that, it's huge. She said she thought it was a wing in the mail. <laughs> so, um, this is the rigger diffuser for the 8Y S3. I know one other person with it, 24K S3 on Instagram. Really cool guy, his car is beautiful. Um, I believe he has their skirts and their lip as well, and I'm probably going to go the same route. If this is quality and if it actually goes on decently, um, he didn't install his. He had he took his to a shop to do it. So I don't know if this is going to clip right in like OEM, which would make it super simple. Um, I'm assuming if you guys saw Shop Daft's video where Paul switched out his regular diffuser for the Club Sport, Club Sport diffuser on his Mark 8 GTI. I'm hoping it's the same thing. Just some pressure clips around it, pop it out, pop a new one in, call it a day. So if that's the case, I'm putting it on today. And if not, then we're waiting until the weekend. So fingers crossed, let's grab some scissors and open this bad boy up. I ordered this probably like two months ago, not too long after I got the car. I asked Sean over at my stuff if he was able to get these and he had to pull some strings, talk to some people, but he finally got a hold of whatever distributor or whatever he had to do. Don't quote me on it. I'm not. My memory is terrible, but he did whatever he needed to do to be able to get these and now they're up on his site if any of you guys want to order one. Um, and it did take a while. I had to get put in the shipping container and blah, 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 blah. But it's finally here. You guys know with the pandemic and all the other things, um, especially with parts that aren't made here in the U.S., it's going to take a minute. To... I said the baby sleeper. It's going to take a minute to get here. But I don't know if there's more tape in there. Pull this out and hope it's not damaged. You guys want to say hello? Cheesy boy? Apex boy? Apex, sir. Hi. Smelling new smells? Cheesy boy, what do you think? Alright. Seems to be packaged pretty well. Put the tape off the ends here. Doesn't look like there's a bag of hardware or anything, so. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Oh, yeah. There's a whole bag of hardware and double sided tape. At least it's included. Looks like a bunch of regular like T30 or T25s and you got like a whole roll of uh, double sided tape. So hopefully we don't have to use too much of that. We'll open this up see if this is maybe some actual instructions. Oh yeah, there's actual instructions. Wow. That's awesome of them. Alright, so I went through the instructions with Google Translate. Seems pretty simple. You don't got to do a whole lot. Um, the double-sided tape that came with this actually isn't for the diffuser itself. It's for the sensor that's on the diffuser. So when you kick your foot under the bumper, the trunk opens up. So this is how you restick those sensors to this and that's how it's already on the car it uses double side tape um, there is three small spots you got to drill not into this but to the material behind it like the tin like heat shield type stuff just so you can get some uh some self tappers in there for like the, i think it's for like the very tip of this it's in the instructions it seems very 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 simple um and it's got this nice protective coating on it like uh like on a foam screen kind of like this comes off so we will lay this on here until the diffuser is on and go from there so i'm gonna go jack the car up give my first thoughts about it and uh we'll go from there i found out if you jack your car up with the car locked your alarm will go off and it scared the living shit out of me <laughs> um we got the car semi jacked up so i believe it says this comes off first this plate and then uh you get behind here yeah and it's just got like these push clips 
So this should all come off pretty easily. It said to make sure you get the, follow the wires, get to the little sensors somewhere. Maybe it's on the other side, but uh, we'll go over all this real quick. Should be fairly simple, really. All right, let's get a good look at this before the new one goes on. The new one gets rid of all this stupid honeycomb and then make this a nice gloss, so. And the gloss should match these side vents pretty good. Yeah, this will be nice. So, first things first is this piece on the ground, which was just a handful of T25s and then two 10 mils. And it went across here, attached all across here. And then the two 10 mils were these two guys right here. Next up, we're just pushing in these. There's a little tab on them. Push it in, push towards the outside of the car. I've already started on them. I got ones on the end here. These end ones seem to be the worst. I think there might be, yeah, there's a handful more. You can kind of see up here past the exhaust. So we got to get those two. Now I'm going to try and reach my hand way up there and get these reflectors, get these reflectors out. Cause I want to wrap those, um, I want to wrap those black. So it looks like they're accessible. All right guys, so once you get this clip out here and all the ones along the back side, you have ones that go all along the top here. I kind of like yanked on this one and it popped out, but all the rest you're not gonna be able to yank. So what I have been doing here, so I just got this one. There's another clip, right? So you kind of pull down and see, sorry. I can get, once the focus, I take my tool, I get it into where it is, which is really hard to do with one hand. Kind of don't do what I just did there. If you get it in there just right, press down on it. Let's see if I can get it here with just a couple hands. Press down, boom. See, that one just popped out. So now I can go across this whole thing. One more thing to note before you do all that, let me grab my light again. Right here, you'll see red wires on this connection. They're red and black. Boom, on this one they'll be plugged in right there. So it's a tab on top, no fancy uh, child proofing or safety on it. Just press down on it, pour it towards you, it'll pop right out of there. That goes to these sensor strips that go across and that's how you open the trunk with your foot. So we'll just have to double side tape those onto the new one. And just like that, she's off. You can see all the little clips that went around the outside here. Let me slow down so you can see them all. And then you got your, your sensors. We'll have to take off very easily, very carefully here. Not to puncture them or hurt them. Might heat them up with the heat gun just to get the, you know, and then your back ones here. There we go, now my car looks really ugly for the moment. <laughs> all right guys, took the heat gun, which you really don't even need. If you get a trim tool and just get up under the um, glue here and pry it up in a couple spots and then really just pop pop and get under sort of here again because there's like a gap and then uh yeah just pull it off the back side what i did i started at the end i kind of peeled it used my left hand to pull it and then my right hand i rolled my thumb it was like this so i like rolled my thumb as i was pulling it with my other hand and it would just pull up in, in pretty lengthy strips so it's pretty easy to get the glue off now I'll place those, well I'll clean them up with some alcohol and it came with that new tape. And we'll flip this around and get it here on the back side. Approximately the same spot that that was. We'll measure down and see. I'm assuming it's gonna go right about here and here, all the way across. And now, so you see, you got all these tabs they they don't these tabs are just flat these tabs actually have like a a notch in them to click in so this will be interesting and those like different spots that you put in the, the hardware that it came with so we'll see how this goes hopefully uh it's nice and secure i'm gonna try and lay these out so you can see the difference on the floor and then we'll get it on the car sensors are on on the old one, which it's not even there anymore, was measured four inches down and two inches apart. Uh, I put them a little bit closer. Maybe shouldn't have. Um, but 
looks good. It's in there. Um, yeah, let's go toss this bad boy on. I need to read through the instructions a little bit more. Um, yeah, but I'm excited. Let's shoot. All right, first things first, you put this piece back on with your, I think, seven or so T25s and your two 10 mils. Get that on. Then we're gonna slap the diffuser on, push it back into place and put some tape on it so it has pressure on it. And then from there, we'll start. Uh, so reading through the instructions there in German, some of these tabs that stick out far like this one. Yeah, so this one, this one already have holes to put them. Since they don't have like the lifted or Know, whatever you want to call them the ends are different you're gonna put screws through these so they don't back out of um, their place so it seems pretty simple so you have a couple on this side uh, three on that side three on this side and then all these going through there and you're done a couple of them you gotta stick a drill bit through I guess I'm not exactly sure into what but we're gonna find out together So, put some tape on it to keep some pressure on the back side. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be real nice. Might put a little bit more tape just to make sure. And then this isn't gonna hang down like that. This has still got uh, quite a bit of ways to get pushed up here, so. Yank on it too much while the tape's on there, but it's gonna be dope. All right, so the screws included what we're doing here, we took a drill and drilled into the bumper. There's already a hole here. So we drilled past this into the bumper just so you could get this T25 in or T20, whatever it is. Uh, it says use a three millimeter. This is a three thirty seconds, which is uh, American equivalent. And she's in. I pushed on this towards the back while I drilled and also held that same pressure whenever I was putting that in. So this should be holding on to the bottom now. I'm gonna do it again on the other side. If I won't get in the way of the camera, so pressing on this, getting that far back, getting the drill up in there. Done, done. Take your screw. Up in there, get it started. A little bit of pressure on it. Okay. Right here. We we're doing this with my left hand. Okay, boom, and done. Kind of sucks it doesn't go all the way back. I guess we'll never see that. Well, that's, I don't even know. There was no screws in this, so. Oh, uh, well, you know what we need to get? They sell spats for the side that I didn't order. Actually, it might not even be Rieger who makes them. It might be, uh, what's the other, Maxton makes these rear um, spat things that sit here. So we're definitely gonna have to order those because it kind of looks, it'll make this look even better. And with the quality of this so far, I'm not gonna call it yet, but so far, um, I'm probably gonna get their skirts and the front lip. So, and that'll be it for exterior mods other than maybe some mirror caps from John Louis, some carbon caps. And I'm still gonna pop these out, make these black. And if they ever come out with some better looking fake vents for back here, maybe that. But, uh, oh, and Euro headlights, but they're so expensive, I'll probably never get them. But I do want them. All right, guys, so this next part has been, if there's anything dis difficult about this whole thing, it's this next part. Um, there's two, well, in total, there's four Phillips screws that come with the kit for those tabs I showed you to keep the tabs excuse me, from backing out. Um, one I can get to with a screwdriver and get in, but one I have to get to with the opposite side. So I hand, I pushed in with my hand and got it going and then grabbed a little pair of pliers and just spun them by hand because you can't get a, a screwdriver because it's up against the bumper. I'll show you here. It's really not that bad, but it's not the most fun. So you can see, let me get the camera situated. So that one right there, that's the one I did by hand. So this is like outside of the bumper. This is my hand here. You guys like my ringtone, Power Rangers? 
Um, so I just used a little, uh, I got it in there by hand, putting pressure on the outside to make that pop out. Got it in by hand and just spun it with a little uh, pair of pliers. And then the other one right there, you can just get to with a regular old screwdriver. So those ones are done. Now all the rest are just along the bottom here. And I do believe, yeah, so these very back ones will have to, to drill into a little plastic thing that we put on first and that'll um, you know get some self tappers these other ones I'm not sure if looks like there's a screw right behind it so I might have missed the step being in German I might have to take those back out which would kind of suck because it might hold both of them on we'll see Google Translate didn't treat me the best, but now I understand. So it's referring to after you get all the side ones done, it's saying leave the four out that were on this panel. Like I was just showing you guys, or kind of trying to show you. So you leave these ones out. So I'm gonna take those ones back out. And then the ones closest to the outside of the bumper, see right, this screw will be going into that hole. So this one screw holds the diffuser and this plastic piece, if that makes sense. And then the very back ones, like I was just saying, um, we'll have to drill for the very back ones and tap them in. So now I got to go through and take those four out. Not a big deal. Should have enough room. Get the stubby on there. And then we're done. You can take all the plastic coating off and see how she really looks. All right. Got them all in. Wasn't too bad. Um, this whole, whole thing was pretty easy minus those, those couple of Phillips I was talking about. But, uh, Here's all the hardware in. You can see I did them all across. Simple stuff. Um, they sent 12. You only use 10, so you get two spares. Plus the extra four you took out of that piece. So you'll have a couple extras. Maybe you could use those for the splats, um, which I'm definitely about to order up tonight. <laughs> Once again, big shout out to Sean at It's Not Stock. Sorry, I'm showing you guys my buggers and the dirt on my face, but let's pull the dang plastic off this thing, get the car on the ground, and see how it really looks. All right, guys, got the tools all cleaned up. Got the light here on the ground. About to run inside, grab the old lady. I know she's going to want to see how this looks. Um, very thankful. Shout out to her for being, like, the most awesome woman ever. Uh, I'm not just saying that to say it. She's got a badass BMW for anybody new here. That's her, her M3. Look at the tires on that damn thing. <clears throat> Beautiful car. All right, let's go, uh, let's go see if she wants to come out. I'm sure she's holding the baby. Put the tape back. Oh, gotta bring the drill in. You wanna come see it? I haven't taken the plastic off yet. Just up my... Camera's rolling. For the house? No, it's not. Come on, Oh, <laughs> all right. I'm not putting the baby on camera, so uh, set this down. Ooh. It's uh, boom. The light's gonna mess it all up, and I got the exposure set all stupid. Let's see. sides yeah they, they make splats I didn't order them because I thought they might look stupid but now I realize like oh yeah it's, uh, I should have got them so I'm gonna order those tonight and uh, probably the front bit too just to keep the whole thing going 
Oh yeah, that looks much better. All right. That makes me happy that I did flex my money. And it's on there sturdy too. Dang, yeah, it really needs those side pieces on. They're like little winglets that, that kind of hang off the side. Definitely ordering those. Wow. All right. Close out this video and I'll be in. It's a Pap's package for her. All right, guys. Now I regret not ordering the splats with it. They would look, it would look so extra, even extra good. But that looks awesome. That makes me really freaking happy. Oh, oh yeah, you can kind of see like the little clip holes in there. You can't really see that in real life. Like, no one's ever gonna be way down here. Eh, it looks great. I wish it wasn't so like exposed funny. Man, I love that. Makes the rear end look so much better. Dang, all right. Well, we're gonna order up them slide side pieces. And uh, yeah, so. I give this a 10 out of 10. Looks really good, really happy. Um, dang, I want to make sure the trunk pop still works. Uh-oh, oh, there we go, I did it right, nice. All right guys, make sure you drop a thumbs up. Uh, thanks for watching, we're gonna have way more shit in the future and I'll catch you on the flip flop.